business of trying to please everybody else is a business you'll never be successful at. Period. Y'all know that, right? Why, in, in this era of social media, of mm -hmm. conformity, of people looking at social media, comparing themselves, why is it important that they remember that that business is, is a no-win business? Well, because we get caught up in trying to please everybody and have a great image and go viral and like do as well as we can because it's a monet you can monetize off of it. You can really literally change your whole life, right? So it's understandable. But what I realize is that when you do it for yourself and when you are, are really honest about it and when you're really passionate about it, that's gonna really set you apart from the rest of the crowd. You know, where you, where you lack in talent, you make up for in discipline. It's something that Denzel Washington told my dad on the subway in New York, you know, cause they used to be in a- that's Denzel all that. told your dad that? Yeah. That's man, all. you got some stories, it's man. A story, it's a story a long time ago. Anyway, that's a whole nother interview. I'll tell your so, dad I told Denzel to say what's up. Man. He got yeah, to that, man. yeah, I actually ran into Denzel actually not too long ago and was talking to him about that. But hey, bro, <laughs> let's stay focused. So the business of trying to please everybody, I mean, you could try it. Maybe you could be the first one to crack it. You know, I don't want to tell you anything you can't do. But from experience and from a lot of the people that I've been able to experience and been in the presence of, it never works out that way. So really just take care of you first. You know, everything else is a byproduct of that. You know, money is a byproduct of success, but success isn't because you make money. Success is because you're doing something with purpose that you love to do that's affecting the world, that's changing or inspiring or whatever it is. See, I feel like my purpose is to inspire. I don't feel like my purpose is to be a rapper. I feel like that's a byproduct of my purpose. That's the way I'm able to get my messages out. You know, yeah. so when I wrote this book, Go Higher, it's a book of like achieving success in your life. And I'm by any means not the most successful person in the world. You know what I mean? Well, maybe I am because of how happy I am and the things that I've seen and the experiences I've been through. Maybe I am actually. And uh, it's but I've also had a chance to kick it with my idols and my and these masters not just in music like one of my favorite books is the seven spiritual laws of success by deepak chopra one of the you know another say one say that is, again so you can write that down yeah. seven laws of success the seven spiritual the laws seven of spiritual success law. by deepak chopra asking it is given by esther and jerry hicks um inner engineering like a lot of a lot of these books right so i've gotten a chance to also spend time with deepak chopra like one on one and like sad guru and really pick their brains and see what works for them. And of course, like my idols, you know, from Eminem to Jay to Ye to all these people that I've gotten a chance to really have crazy one-on-one -on -one experiences with and just see their processes, you know what I mean? So to me, this book is a book of establishing a level of consciousness, but applying a lot of these secrets that a lot of these successful, and by the way, a lot of billionaires too that I know, like mm -hmm. they're real big, you know, uh, rebuilding Detroit, like in all these things, I've, I've been able to pick a lot, of, a lot of great minds and apply a lot of methods and put them all together in this book. So it's kind of like a book of, of giving away a lot of game. I remember I was talking to ASAP Rocky about the book and he was like, oh, you giving away the game. I was like, you gotta give it to them because that's what that's what it's here for. It's dispersed in a lot of different areas. So the book is just kind of like a guide to really get to a point in your life to where you can enjoy it and really live the life you deserve for real and like really, you know, attract whatever it is you're after. Yeah. And give, give you the best shot at it at least. 